A new movie just released on Netflix. It's set in New Hope, Wisconsin. It's about a talented dancer who moves back home to Wisconsin after being banished from Broadway. The filmmakers say Feel the Beat is a love letter to small towns all across the country. And we are joined now by the film's producer, Susan Cartsonis. Hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. Good morning. Good morning. It's so great to see you. This is so fun. It's a brand new family friendly movie set in Wisconsin of all places. Well, what better place to set a movie, right? Agreed. I think this is fantastic. So Netflix um, is releasing it today. Give us a brief synopsis. Well, it tells the story of a dancer, April Debrina, who is she is very, very fierce and determined. She studied in Milwaukee. And she came from a small town, then studied in Milwaukee, and then went right to Broadway. And she's not doing very well. She has a mishap. Um, somebody might accidentally fall off a stage, and it's captured in a viral video. And that sends her back in disgrace to her small town in Wisconsin. There, she's staying with her dad. She gets roped into coaching a ragtag group of young dancers who can't dance to save their life. Yeah, I call it the bad news bears of dance. And she finds both personal and, and um, artistic kind of redemption back in her small town. It's, there's a little bit of a sweet home Alabama kind of tone to it um, for grownups. And it's a really great kids and family movie too. Well, I love that. I love that it's a family movie and that it's set here. And I love that you say this is a love letter to small towns. I'm from a town of 600 people. And so I believe they're the best kept secrets in America. But this was actually shot now in Toronto, even though it's set in New Hope. So how did you capture the essence of New Hope, Wisconsin, and, and really make it feel like it's here in Wisconsin, even though it was not? Well, for one thing, in the summer, um, the the terrain in Ontario, it is not that different from the Northeast, Midwest of the United States. So in terms of the sort of look and feel, it was very similar. Um, we did um, make sure that accents were reasonably close. We're, we're not doing any extreme <laughs> accents, although I, I think Miss Barb, played by Donna Lynn Champlin from My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, does a, a pretty good one, judging from other people I know from Wisconsin. And um, I'm from a small town, too. So, you know, small towns all across North America have something in common. And we got rid of any Canadian flags that were waving down the street. We made sure there was plenty <laughs> of cheese in the grocery store. Um, there may be a mild cheese obsession because the name of the local football team is the Churners and their symbol is a cow. So, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, April's played by Sophia Carson, who younger audiences will know from the Descendants movie. She's mm. kind of a revelation, wonderful, multi-talented um, woman and uh, great human being, too. Mm. Now, Susan, I understand you personally had a blast shooting this movie. So what was so fun about it? Well, for one thing, you guys were talking about hugs and handshakes. I've never been hugged so many times in my life. You walk onto a set with dozens of kids and you're immediately surrounded by what our executive called the hug monster. They all pile on. So you could say I banked hugs last summer when we were oh. making the movie and I'm using them now because we can't hug. But right. It's 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 amazing. It's fantastic. People think that it's tough to work with kids. Working with kids is fantastic. And um, these kids are so talented and disciplined and nice. And we're we're in touch to this day. One of the things we're doing here on our show is we're giving away ice cream for a year. So you have to tell the ice cream story from being on okay. set. That's the best story. Well, when you come into a small town and you kind of take over Main Street, you have to make deals with the businesses because they they can't run their regular businesses. So with the local ice cream parlor, we bought it out completely. So for the, the days that we were there, anybody and everybody who was passing through town, who lived in town, who was part of our set, um, you know, our, our, our people, our crew, or cast, and that's probably 150 to 200, well, probably about 150 people. They could have ice cream anytime they wanted, and it's Canada, so maple walnut was the 
<laughs> most amazing flavor. Yum. And I Yum. might have had two cones in a day, but let's not talk about that. Details. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is great. We want to make sure that we can give the information to everybody. We're so happy that you could join us today. Maybe next time you can you. come in studio when that happens again and join us on the yellow couch. Yes, and give you a hug. Absolutely. Exactly. Thanks Congratulations so much, on this movie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Wisconsin. Thank you, Milwaukee. <laughs> you were our inspiration. Oh, we love that. Again, the movie is Feel the Beat. It's now available on Netflix today, so check it out.